chaos caused that royal christening. A new debauchery ravishing the country. A nation holds their groin in fear. Bodies piling up as pelvic injuries on the rise. Is this the new idea of hell? Welcome to planet Earth today. today. 24-7 Panic News wants us to assure you that the word will not, I repeat, will not be shouted, spoken, whispered, or even uttered during this broadcast tonight. Tonight on this 24-7 Panic News special, we will be asking the questions. Could you lose your life to this mysterious word? I'm Lexi Brown, and I'm present. I'm Jeff Johnson, and I'm appalled. We tracked one pervert via CCTV using the word to commit sordid attacks on unsuspecting members of the public. You see him now, hiding behind a fence, and there he, he said the word. He said it, and they're, they're losing their minds in a, in a frenzy of fornication. We captured this from a doorbell cap. Here our pervert is now, pressing the doorbell and luring his unsuspecting prey out onto the street. And there we have it. He has no idea what's hit him. And this one is quick. Look at him go. This poor sap lost his granny to the word. It was my granny's 80th. We went to her favourite restaurant and she'd ordered uh, gravy mashed and sausages. It was her favourite. I, I, I slipped out to use the toilet for a second. And in walking in, I could hear a lot of commotion, a lot of chaos. And then looking in, I knew what had happened. Someone had said the word. And it was bedlam everywhere. People on top of tables, waiters on top of waitresses, it was just chaos, and in all amongst this chaos, I'm searching for my little old granny, and there she is, holding on to the table, stuttering, and I, I was running over trying to stop her, and the table was tilting and tilting and tilting, I could see the gravy coming towards her, and it was too late, she died in a gravy humping mess. Here's another victim. Uh, a Peter from Peter's Small Pet Emporium. Oh, I can remember the day very well, I can tell you. Saturday afternoon, I was, you know, feeding as normal, and I think a man must have leapt in the front of the shop and shouted the word. It was awful. Five hamsters, one after the other. People thought it was funny. There was a man looking through the window laughing at me. Do you think it's funny to fuck a ferret, do you? It's not funny at all! Anyway, I gathered myself together. I, I, I was just gonna put out some seeds. And the, the bastard came and called it again! I was there with buttery cars! Have you seen the look of disappointment in a chinchilla's face when you do that to him? He's never going to trust me again, is he? I've had to carry this around in case someone leaps out and calls it. Just keep it ready. It's humiliating. It's not funny. At my grandmother's funeral, I took a last second to see her body just before we started the wake. It was just me. And I was there, and I saw her face. They cleaned it up so well. Last time it was covered in gravy. And I went close to her to say goodbye and give her one last kiss on the head. When, I don't know how science can explain this, but I heard her, and she said one word to me. And unfortunately for me, it was the word. And it took me over, and I just jumped on top of her. And I just kept calling the word over and over again, jumping and humping and humping and humping, and then I looked over, and my family were standing watching, tears in their eyes. That word causes nothing but problems. Now, 
to David Davidson, our field reporter, reporting news from the source. I've been out here in real life, in the real streets, talking to real people about the word and how it's affected them. I was just putting my washing out, and then he burst through the gate all over my wall, humping it like there was no tomorrow, and the next thing, poof, gone. It looked like I had a good time though, so... Well, I'm dead. I didn't hear a thing about the word. Um, everyone just started. <laughs> so I just uh, joined in. <laughs> Great dad. <laughs> Great fun. <laughs> Twas just last Sunday, to be sure, we were down sat in the pews, and some lunatic, lunatic, wasn't he? He uh, ran in and he shouted the profanity. Oh, the chaos, you should have seen it there. We thought we had a safe haven, oh. but no. The sin was unbelievable. The, the, the sisters, the, the nuns. We had to protect the nuns, we did, Mildred. It was too late for us, we heard the word. Oh. Poor Jesus, Mary and Joseph, the statue was next to us to be sure. The splinters. The splinters are the splinters. still there. It's been an awful day and an awful oh. happening on the world, this world. It's cruel. It's cruel, cruel, cruel world. There's even been reports of people weaponising the word and using it in drive-by attempts on people. People's heads literally exploding. Here's a chart we've made that you need to be afraid of. It's time. Running out. This hippie twerp thinks she's got a cure. Breathe with me now, brothers and sisters. Exhale the panic. There is no need to panic because of the word. We sovereign beings, part of the universe, are already the word. The word and us. We are one. We are all. So you must not be afraid of the word, no. Do you understand? We must become the word. Accept the word. The result of the word is one thing. We must consume the result of the word. Now, come forth, children, and join us here. a lot about what stupid people think of the word tonight. So, let's go to our resident clever person. What does big science have to say for itself, and what's it going to do about it? Over to you, Terence Humphrey. Terry, tell me something. So, as you can see, the, uh, the test subject, uh, we gave him a book. Uh, we tried to find the, uh, the least erotic form of literature that we could but as you can see it hasn't helped he carries on humping for quite some time until yep there we go we've confiscated the book now and now in a few seconds he'll hear the word again there we are so now he's uh, he's humping the desk because we took away the book it appears that no matter what we do, they'll just keep humping. Ah, okay. Now we've taken away the desk. All he has left is the chair. And now he's humping that too. Well, sometime later, we've taken away the chair. Now he's got nothing. 
and there's the word, and now he's humping the floor. Unfortunately, due to this, we've had several groin-related incidents, um, a lot of shattered pelvi. Mm. Quite fascinating. So how is this going to help us combat the word? Well, that's an interesting question. Um, I think there's a lot more research that's needed in order to answer that question. But what we do know is that they will not stop humping. Can you tell us anything about the long-term effects of the word? Long-term risks could include uh, severe bruising of the pelvis, uh, furthermore groin-related incidents, and probably quite a few uh, torn ligaments and, and muscles around that sort of area. Can you imagine a word so powerful that it can make you immediately and uncontrollably fornicate with everything you see in front of you? Neither could I until I saw the evidence that we present to you tonight. Joining me now are two people who seem to think that this is a good thing that will benefit society. Let's hear from them why they think something so stupid. You, stop sitting like me and tell them what you think. Um, right. <laughs> My name's Patrick O'Sullivan and I've written a book on the word. Um, I think it's a great thing. I think it's something that society's been waiting for thing. for a long time. A great thing. That's exactly right, yes. Have you, have you seen what we've had to deal with on this show tonight? A man who couldn't, uh, couldn't help himself but, but fornicate with every single animal in a pet shop. Right, I understand that and oh, you know, there needs to be some kind of regulation or something, but you That's, know... Uh, there's nothing that you could do to regulate such a disgusting word and a, such a disgusting act. Right, I've, I've had enough with you. You, explain yourself. Well, my name is Daisy Crocker, and I am here to explain the Word of God and how this is an amazing thing that we are all going to burn. Our faces are literally going to melt off, and we will join Jesus, our Saviour! I think you might actually be barking mad. I think that's a little bit much. What? Well, as we all know, if you frost, you combust. And I expect to see both of you in the pits of hell combusting. Oh, don't worry, you'll see me there. No, I won't be seeing you there, will I? Because I will be going. Of as course a you will. Of God. Let's let's take it back yeah. a second. Wait. Remember the word damn. Damn used to mean damnation upon your souls. But now it just means damn as in, oh damn, I stepped in a pile of shit. No, that word still means damn or the damnation, and words like that are one of the reasons why the end of world is here right now. Do you not think that is people like you? But are the this is why we have this? the evolution of the words. The words gain <sighs> power in different situations. Look, if you look between the revelations, when they brought up leprosy and stuff like that, that was not God. He said, "Now this was not me." Um, I think that we should say the word right now. Right here. Uh, no, right no, right no, no, yeah. no, we're not saying a word. Yeah. No, no, not on my I show. Think we no, should. no, no, Shabubi! No, 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 no. no. Ah! Uh -huh. 